Welcome back to the channel. I'm Roger. Tonight I'm working on my Carry On 5x8 trailer. I'm going to be upgrading from the 4 pin connector to the 7 blade connector. This is the 4 pin connector that I'm getting rid of. I don't care for these connectors because they are hard to connect and disconnect and they are also very fragile. You can see that this one is starting to come apart. So I'm going to replace it before it gives me problems. This is the connector I'm going to be upgrading to. Of course you're going to need this style connector on your tow vehicle. Be sure you get the 7 blade connector. There's another style with pins. That I usually use the Kurt brand 7 blade connectors. They work good and they're not very expensive. But the last time I went to order some, they were out of stock. So I had to go with the Reese brand. And of course it's more money and get it out of the pack and we'll look at the differences here see everything shaped the same there everything looks the same there and the last thing coming close made in Taiwan made in Taiwan so I believe they are the same thing just the Reese cost more money. For this video I'm going to be using the Kurt connector. I have the link in the description in case you need to purchase one. So the tools we're going to need is a small straight screwdriver, a pair of wire cutters and wire strippers, a Phillips screwdriver, and possibly a multimeter with an ohm setting. Before you cut the old 4 pin off, I recommend you draw a diagram of how it is wired. For example, usually the right turn is green, but that is not always the case, so to avoid confusion, draw a diagram. Now things may get a little bit confusing if you have five wires on your four pin connector like I did. So just to play it safe, you can use a meter to check and see where those wires go. You will either need to have your meter on the ohm setting or the audible continuity setting. They both will work to test this. I'm using the audible continuity setting. See, Ohms does the same thing. So we know that the destination of both of those wires is this pin here. Now this wire should be white, but the sun has bleached it on the camera. Now this wire should be yellow. It looks a lot more white than what it is, but the sun has bleached it. But if I do come on back underneath the tubing, you can see it's yellow there. So I can distinguish that wire from the white wire. So be sure if you have any wires that look like they're the same color that you can tell them apart. So this is the diagram I made. It's with the connector like this with the female at the bottom. Again, not all trailers are going to be wired like this. This one is wired correctly, but sometimes they can vary. Now I'm going to take my small straight screwdriver and take the 7 pin apart. Now I'm going to take my small straight screwdriver and take the 7 blade connector apart. You may need to carefully push it apart. Now if you look at this, you can see we have two grooves in it. The one groove is complete, the other is not. That one goes at the top where your screw is to catch it and hold the connector together. For the purposes of this video I made a diagram of an inside connector view of a seven blade connector so that is like we have the connector apart you can see the groove is at the top so that would be with the connector like that 
so that'll make it easier to help wire things up. Now there have been a couple instances where I've seen where somebody has wired their tow vehicle 7 pin connector wrong. I'm not going to run into that too much today now that most vehicles are equipped with a 7 pin connector on them from the factory but I've seen somebody wire that wrong and then they got two new trailers and the lights didn't work on the trailers so somebody wired the connectors to match the truck so you're going to have to be careful to be sure that everything is right but 99% of the time this is right now if you take your seven blade apart you'll notice that it is labeled on the inside so you're probably thinking why do you need this diagram well these are always wrong this says green up here tail light come look at mine brown so if you wire it like this things are going to be wrong Now that I know how everything is wired on this four pin, I'm ready to cut the old wires off. They can be fished through the new seven blade. This trailer has some conduit on it already. I'm not going to add any, but you may need to add some to yours. I'm going to go ahead and strip just a little bit of wire off of each. Again, this part is the top of the connector, the part with the full groove is the bottom. So this is my tail light, wanted about the 11 o'clock position. Then I can look at my diagram and see that tail light is brown and white and brown with a green tracer. So the next thing at about the 9 o'clock position is left turn and the left stoplight, which would be yellow. Now coming on around the 7 blade connector at about the 7 o'clock position we have the ground which is white. Then to finish things up, at the 3 o'clock position we have the right turn and right stoplight, which is green.
I'm going to go around, just double check, make sure all the screws are tight before I put the connector back together. Everything is good and the connector can be slid back together. Be sure you slide it back together right. The fully open groove goes to the bottom. You can use the small straight screwdriver to secure it. You don't need to kill that screw. It just needs to be snugged a little bit. Then on the back side, on the back side, there's a Phillips screw we can tighten down. to help seal things off. So now that everything's done, ready to take the trailer outside and make sure all the lights work. This is the first time I've been able to hook to this vehicle with the trailer without using this four to seven blade adapter. So let's see if the lights work. All right, so we have tail lights or running lights, whatever you want to call them. Go ahead and just check all the lights on the trailer. So the first light I'm going to try is the left turn, then I'll do right turn, and then the stop lights, which if the left turn and right turn work, that means the stop lights are going to work, as you can tell by the way they're wired up on the connectors. you on upgrading from the four pin to the seven blade connector. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed it.